Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Elena. My husband and I are currently trying to conceive our first baby, but it's taken a while, still taking some time, due to my diagnosis with endometriosis. So today's video, I wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on in my two videos ago we were deciding between IUI and IVF and things like that. So I wanted to fill you guys in on what we have officially decided. Before we get into that, I did want to bring up two things. The first one is if you are not following me on Instagram, I do post there more frequently, not only about just like my everyday life, but also about our infertility journey. So be sure to be following me there. The second thing is, is my, one of my best friends, like a girl I consider my sister, has started her own YouTube channel, kind of like a lifestyle-based channel. So I'm going to leave her link down below if you all would like to maybe go show her some love. Let's go ahead and get started. The first big thing, like I said, we were debating between IUI and IVF. We have officially decided to move on with IUI. The undecided part about that is how many that we will go through. At this point, we know for short we're going to do one round of IUI or intrauterine insemination for those of you who aren't familiar with that term. This procedure is less costly than IVF or in vitro fertilization. Another kind of undecided thing is when we will do this. So right now we are currently waiting for my next cycle to start, which should be like in a week or so. And on my first day, I'm going to call my doctor and he could say, well, I'm going to call you in a round of Clomid. We're going to go ahead and start this cycle. Or he could say, after your cycle, I want you to come in. I want to do an ultrasound, blood work, and then we'll start it next cycle. So either this coming cycle, we will do an IUI or the cycle directly following. With the IUI, I think my husband and I have decided we are going to let my family and friends, very close family and friends, know the timeline of when it's happening. We will be recording everything, um, but there will be a delay in us posting these videos to YouTube and any kind of social media. I think we really want this time to be very intimate in our lives and we want it to be something that we can kind of keep to ourselves for just a little bit without social media being involved or you know whatever we just feel that putting it all live might i mean if it goes negative meaning we do not get pregnant i'm not sure that i want to be sharing those feelings with youtube whenever i am in a bad point in my life so that timeline will be delayed probably like two weeks I think or so um so yeah that is the update with IUI or IVF we are going through with it and I'm really excited I'm feeling very hopeful this past week I have actually two weeks I have just felt like a new wind of emotions and I haven't felt stressed I haven't felt sad I haven't felt angry I haven't felt anything other than just at peace with what's going on and I owe 100% of that emotion to just praying and I, I give glory to God for that. That is something that I have struggled with for quite some time and the other day at church I even posted about it on Instagram. I swear I just like felt something so tangible and so real just lift off of me and since then I have felt so much peace about it so we're in a really good place. I am, I don't know if my husband is. He's kind of always the strong one, never really tells me how he's feeling. But for myself, I am in a really good place in our TTC journey. I just am feeling very, not confident, I think the word is like comfortable. Like I'm just comfortable with what's going on and I have accepted that it's going to happen when it's going to happen and my emotions and the things that I do mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. I can't control when this is going to happen and I can't control how it's going to happen. All I can control is my emotions, how I'm feeling and how I'm dealing with those. I'm doing just really well. And there are, let's see, three things that I have listened to that I'm going to try to link down below. The first one is a get, it's a podcast. 
and it's called Give Grace Podcast, and it is amazing. It is life-changing if you are going through anything dealing with infertility, miscarriage, or grief along those lines. It has touched my heart tremendously. The second one is Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. That has been a huge catalyst in how I'm just dealing with life in general. It's an amazing book, super popular, so I'm sure a lot of you have already listened or read that. And the third one is a book called Hannah's Hope. This is dealing with Hannah in the Bible and kind of laying out her life along with the author's life and dealing with infertility. And it's it's just really touching and you get a lot from it. You get a lot of hope and peace from that book. So I would recommend all three of those things to you ladies. Maybe you'll find one that you connect with. For those of you ladies who have gone through IUI, I want to know what you won, how many you did, and if any of those were successful. I also would love to know what you did to prepare for IUI. I know it's obviously less invasive than in vitro fertilization, but I do believe that there are some things that you can prepare your body for, um, maybe different vitamins or diet that you followed. Leave those in the comments. Also, Tomorrow, so the day that this video goes up, actually that next day, I'm filming an all day clean with me and that will go up the following week. So like next Monday or Tuesday, I'm trying to get on like a new schedule. But I also would love to know what you all would like to see from this channel. I had an idea to film like a how I cope with going to baby shower reveals. That is something that I have not ruled out in my life or said that I am no longer attending. I go to these and I have found something that works for me personally. Let me know if you would like to see something like that. Any other video that you all would like to see from me, I am open to. During this kind of wait period for an IUI, I'm just not really sure what TTC update I will be able to give you other than if I do follow a certain diet or take certain vitamins. So let me know your video suggestions in the comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for your continued love and support. I get so many messages or comments just asking like how I'm doing and there people are praying for my husband and I and it is so heartwarming and I have not met any of you except for my close friends that follow my channel but I feel very connected to you as you go through this walk with me and as I go through this walk with you. I know there are a few ladies who are getting ready to start their IVF cycle in the next couple of weeks or IUI cycle. So I just wanna thank you and let you know how much I appreciate all of your positivity and I am praying for all of you ladies. You all are constantly on my mind and always in my prayers. I am so thankful that this channel has been a community of just kind of like joy and positivity and it means so much to me. So don't forget to subscribe before you leave to follow us on our next journey of IUI and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.